Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use DVD Fab software to take, let's say, your DVD movie library and compress it onto a single layer Blu ray disc, which is really nice if you're trying to consolidate all your DVD movies and try to put them on as few Blu ray movies as possible and make it so much easier for your home theater, PC, or living room setup. So, how does this work? Go to the more info section. We're going to go to dvdfab.cn. Here's the main product page of the DVD to Blu ray converter. So, here's some features and benefits that's listed on this web page. Also, on the right hand side, if you click on this particular link, it's a really nice picture text tutorial that shows you the process of how you can take your DVD movies and convert it for Blu ray use. So, let's go ahead and show you real quickly how this works. So, in my DVD Fab software, I already had taken two DVD movies and I already converted them to an ISO. And if you're curious on how to do that, just insert your DVD disc under the copy tab. Over here, click on Main Movie, and then go ahead and save it to an ISO file here in your specified directory and just start it and rip it and um, save that ISO file. So, let's assume you already did that. So, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this, go to, to Blu ray. And I'm going to go ahead and add my two ISO movie files for today's example. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have a Die Hard 1 and Die Hard 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an output to BD25 only because that's what my single layer blank Blu-ray is, is the BD25. So I'm going to do that. Here I'm going to save it as an ISO for today's example. If you had a blank Blu-ray disc, you can go ahead and select your Blu-ray burner right now. But I'm going to use an ISO. And then that's fine here. I'm going to say Next. And here it just shows you the percentage of how much it's going to use, which is fine. So I'm going to click on Next. Here, if you want to, you can make a menu. You know, you can give it a title and everything. I'm going to leave it alone for now as example purposes. You don't have to have a menu. But if you want to, you could definitely do that. Click on Next. Here you can give it like, like a volume name. So I already had one from before, which is fine. Here's some different playback modes. I'm going to leave it as, as is. And then I'm going to click on Start. And what it is going to do is going to go ahead and take all your... DVD, ISO, movies, and then convert it into a Blu-ray use so then when you play it on your Blu-ray player, you have a little menu, or if you don't, you can just play from one movie to the next and have a lot of good times. One thing you could also do here is when it says all tasks are done, you can say do nothing, exit the program, hibernate, or shut down. So that is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.